Hey guys, Nash here, and this is the easiest method to install Android 14 on any Android phone. No PC required, anyone can follow this method and install Android 14 in their phone. So make sure you watch this video till end and follow all the steps. So let's get started. So this is one of the most stable build for Android 14. Basically everything is working, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, call recording, camera, even banking apps are working properly. So if you're thinking about upgrading to Android 14 or you just want to try Android 14 and you're bored with Android 13, this is the best build for you. The battery life is slightly better, the charging speed is normal and the standby time is also great in this build. But so far the performance is quite smooth, there is no lag, no glitches, everything is smooth, all the animations are working great. So when you install it for first time, it might look like Android 13, but plenty of things are improved. For example, background usage of amps, and because of that, you get excellent standby time with this new build. And now let's go to about section and let me show you this is indeed Android 14 with the latest security of October 5. And this is the latest easter egg that comes with android 14. And now let me show you how to install android 14 on your phone. So only requirement here is you must have unlock bootloader and you must have android 11 or higher. So this is my 3 year old phone redmi note 10 pro and as you can see I am running android 13 currently. And now we are going to check if your phone can support dynamic partition or not. For that download this simple app called Treble info, it's in play store, just download that and here you can see your dynamic partition is supported. Mostly all the new phones support this, but for some reason if your phone is not supporting this, soon I'm going to make Android 14 custom ROM video, so make sure you subscribe for that. And now it's time to install Android 14. Just go to your about, go to build number, tap on 7 times, it will enable your developer settings. Then go to system, go to developer setting, tap on that, here you will find DSU loader. Now you will get multiple options, make sure you get the GMS version, it means it will have Google Play Store and all the Google support. If you just want to install Android 14 without Google, you can do that, it's up to you. So once you tap on the package, it will start downloading and installing in the background. You can use your phone if you want. Now this process might take around 5 to 10 minutes. So let me quickly fast forward this. So once it's done, you will see this restart button. Tap on that and your next boot will be Android 14. So your first boot might take a little longer, don't worry, just have patience. And now I'm going to fast forward this, all the setup. So now you can see in the about, this is Android 14 running on my 3 year old phone. And don't worry if you don't like this, you can always go back, just restart your phone and you can go back to your stock OS. And if you want to keep this permanently, you can use sticky mode with a single ADB command. I will drop all the info in the description and I will see you tomorrow.